uh, in terms of opportunities or benefits of the technology, there are, I, I can mainly see two basically. The one is about creating new uh, businesses, and that's thanks to the disruptive nature of the technology, because it allows us to basically disintermediate cert certain parties in the value chain. And by doing so, you can simplify the ecosystem, you can reinvent the value proposition. Sometimes you can even invent new value propositions which didn't exist before, just by enabling this peer-to-peer -peer communication between a, a buyer and a seller. Um, and we do this basically for various verticals inside the company, the banking vertical, the health vertical, government and insurance. So we try basically there to support our various customers with, with consulting services at the minute, but also with infrastructure uh, solutions. There's a second part of the equation, it's also how the technology could be used internally as a telco. And here it's more basically looking at how it can help us reduce costs on certain processes like number portability or even roaming. But at the minute, this, the level of maturity on these ideas is not as far as it is for the other technologies. Yeah, the, um, I think the biggest concern we see uh, on the B2B segment, but also on the B2C segment, is the, the whole privacy concern. The fact that um, originally, in the original Bitcoin blockchain, all the transactions are completely transparent, seeable by all the participants, by all the miners. And we have lots of applications, uh, basic corporate applications, where this is not a requirement uh, wished by the, the, the community or by the ecosystem. So there, basically, it forces us to create lots of um, workarounds in order to provide, to still benefit from the distributed activities, from the fact that the smart contract, the fact that they can execute the logic, but still by preserving a certain privacy for various parties. That's the biggest concern we have at the minute and the biggest challenge from my point of view. That's a difficult question. I, have, I didn't have a lot to do on, on that front so far. Um, but I suspect that the main question will be what is the legal validity of the ledgers you are creating? Does this have a legal uh, recognition on the court, at, at the court, there, are, there were already lots of jurisprudence on these, on these type of questions. Um, it's mainly going into the right direction so far, um, but I believe this will be the, the, biggest, the biggest challenge in the future. So that's a difficult question because I wasn't involved with standardization bodies so far, but, but, so, but there is no real need also because uh, it all started from um, open source movements. Um, we have the Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, we have now Hyperledger, and there is no real need for a standardization body coming in and regulating things. Um, however, in the future, what I can imagine is it will be what type of proofs are needed, again, to, be, uh, to have a legal validity in, in front of a court, um, what type of elements, the record that you need uh, to bring. And the biggest challenge will probably be in the trade finance, where you have good movings from one geographical region to another, and how to get a record being recalled, being validated from one ju jurisdiction from another. I think that would be the biggest uh, help standardization bodies can, could bring on that front.